I don't think that you can um, be an author submitting to journals and not have papers rejected. When that happened, of course I was pretty disappointed. Um, I had had a couple of papers already accepted, so I was, you know, really thinking that this should be pretty simple. And um, so I was pretty frustrated, pretty disappointed when it first happened. And um, one of the nice things to have multi multiple authors. So I talked to one of the co-authors and we looked at all of the suggestions that came back. I mean, they didn't reject it outright to say absolutely not, but the numbers of changes that they wanted were things that we couldn't do. They were fundamental um, to what we had to what we had written. Um, so yeah, that was that was pretty painful. So in the end, um, yeah, what we did with that paper afterwards, after it was rejected, is we decided that again there were just too many modifications to make it fit this journal. And as we looked, we realized that we probably had selected the wrong journal. Um, that they wouldn't have been as interested and open to what we were um, wanting to publish about. So we looked around again, um, kind of at the next set of journals and really spent some time looking at what their goals were, resubmitted the paper and had it accepted with just minor revisions. I've had the accept as it is, which always makes me a little bit nervous. I think, oh my goodness, did they read it carefully enough? There's got to be issues in there somewhere. I've had accept with minor revisions. I've done major revisions. I've had a reject and I think, you know, even if the feedback seems harsh and maybe undeserved even, um, I think don't be, don't be afraid of it. If you need to step aside from it, step away from it for a few days, that's okay. But come back, I think, you know, do come back, take on the challenge. Sometimes the case may be that a reject really just means that it wasn't the right fit for that particular journal. It doesn't mean it was a bad paper but could it be redeveloped, reworked, and turned into a paper that's a better fit somewhere else? Reviewers put a lot of time and effort into reviewing those papers and providing that feedback, usually for the sake of turning it into a stronger paper. So it was funny, the, the first article I ever wrote was accepted with a minor minor revision, like she wanted me to change the title. And I thought, this isn't so bad, what are people complain about? And then of course you get the infamous rejection after rejection and you, th you say, aha, I know what people were complaining about. Um, everybody will get rejected. There's no, you, you just, if you submit, especially if you look for kind of stretch journals that are kind of uncomfortable or a tight fit that don't accept a lot of publications, everybody will get rejected. But inevitably, people will take time to say why they rejected it, you know, was the methodology poor, did it not flow well? So you, you know, you pout for 15 minutes and get mad and then you take their suggestions and you incorporate it and resubmit it. If they, if they ask you to resubmit, that's an, an invitation that they're interested in something that you said. So that's a great opportunity to take their advice. If there's a suggestion that they make that you just don't feel like is appropriate, then I think you just say, you know, I appreciate the thoughtful suggestion that reviewer number two offered. Um, however, these are the reasons that I feel like I, you know, I'm going to stay with my original whatever. But I think if you don't take the suggestions, at least give them a rationale about why you didn't. To be honest, so looking at feedback that I get with um, manuscripts, whether they're you know a rejection or re requests for revision, I think that's helped me to become a stronger author in general. So I think you know writing is something that you really need to make a habit of it to develop and refine your writing style. Um, I think as well as being available to review manuscripts for for journals as well, because that's you know your eye is refining and and then that further refines your own writing skills. I've had um, one article that I worked on with a colleague. Um, the, the editor felt like it was too heavy into statistics that that wasn't the audience that they were after. So we looked at an audience that 
you know, we're more focused on data-driven, data-based research, research projects. I mean, I think there's a point if you get five or six rejections, there's probably a fatal flaw in your, in your manuscript and maybe you can't turn it around. But um, I think for the most part, people give thoughtful feedback and you incorporate it and you resubmit to another journal.